I've been testing the top 66 pre sprays in the industry, and it's a four phase test. It started off as a one or two phase, ended up being a four phase because chemists and other industry personnel have gotten in touch with me and asked me to expand the test and include other things. So I'm kind of going to give you a rundown on this, on the test that I'm doing here, and I'll go ahead and break it down for you. And if you have any questions, even though this is live, I'm going to be right here on my computer in front of me here, and I'll be glad to answer any questions that you might have. So feel free to ask them if you have a couple of questions. All right, uh, starting off, what was the first phase of the test? Well, the hardest thing to do was gathering the top 66 pre-sprays. It started off as 50 top pre-sprays in the industry. Ended up becoming 66 because everybody wanted to put theirs in. And one of the things I really learned that really surprised me, kind of surprised me, is that there is a ton of there's a ton of different pre-sprays on the market, but a lot of them are very similar, if almost not identical. And what do I mean by that? Well, the thing is, is that a lot of them are private labeled, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not going to let you know who they are, private label, buyer, nothing like that, because that's confidential, and I respect that confidentiality. However, a lot of them perform the same. And they didn't perform bad, they just performed the same. So kind of keep that in mind. So you might be asking, well, what was the first part of the test? Well, the first part of the test was I basically got some polyester carpet squares because polyester is the hardest carpet to clean. It has an affinity for oil, so it doesn't actually sit on top. It goes inside the fiber. It's very difficult to break loose, to get the surfactants in there, and to suspend the oil and clean it off of there. So it really takes a top-tier quality premium product to go ahead and accomplish that. Okay, so what I did was I went ahead and took some oil, some dirt, some dirty oil, I rubbed it on it and I went ahead and let it set in there uh, for a while and then I went ahead and got the pre-spray of choice at the ready to use dilution ratio. So RTU, ready to go, okay? I mixed it according to the label and, and the instructions. And then I went ahead and I went ahead and put the product on there. I agitated it and let it soak in there for about 10 minutes and I cleaned it with warm water. I did not clean it with hot water on purpose because each stage and each phase of the testing is going to go to a different place, as you're going to see. And I found uh, two or three products that really stood out all by themselves. And then there was a large block of products that stayed the same. And then the largest block of products was really, really poor, was at the very bottom. And I'll kind of reveal those little by little, especially on the Truck Mount Forums forum page. There's a, um, there's a thread over there that's talking about the top pre-sprays in the industry. So top 50. So if you want to take a look at that thread, it's broken down a lot more concisely. It's easy to read and easy to follow. Okay, so that was the first stage. The second stage was I went ahead and took the fibers, different types of fibers like this, white fibers, and I went ahead and dipped them in an oily mixture of the polyester, uh, using polyester fibers again. And then I went ahead and I soaked them for a while in their ready-to-use solution right inside of a beaker like this right here, or basically a measuring scoop, a two ounce measuring scoop. So I went ahead and I put it in there to go ahead and figure out what I was working with. Okay? I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to pull this up before I go any further. Let's see if anybody has any questions here as I'm moving along. I want to follow this along. I have my computer here. Okay. So my point is now I went ahead and let this soak in there and then I took and I took a microscope and I went ahead and took the microscope and I looked at it before and after and I compared each one of them and I took a picture of it. That's pretty doggone thorough right there. So you can kind of see how much oil is left in it, not just the visual. However, we're basically in the visual business, aren't we? So we want to see, you know, uh, appearance levels. Even though we want it clean, we want the optimal appearance levels. We want the carpets to look their absolute best, if you know what I mean. That's really important. So we want the very best looking um, th that we can accomplish, okay? All right, so now back to it. Uh, then the third stage, the third phase, I'm gonna go ahead and reveal now. I wasn't gonna reveal that till later. And hold on here, thanks for what you're doing. No problem, Alan, I appreciate it. Chris, I appreciate that, brother. And Joseph, hey, watch, watch the old man Rob. Okay, well, hey, that's up to you, Joseph. You could go play with your kids, you could watch TV, or you could drink on the weekend. However, here on the weekend, I'm here and I'm testing all the different types of products on the market, finding out what works best for cleaners. I guess I'm kind of a mechanically in, 
incline person, but also kind of a nerd too when it comes to this stuff. And it's been really a lot of fun testing all the different products and going through the phases. So phase number one, I took a new piece of polyester carpet, tested it. Phase two, put it under a microscope, let it soak in the ready-to-use solution. Now, now what's the third phase? The third phase is, you notice the carpet down here on the floor? The third phase is I've got 66 blocks here and I put the product on there. And now what I'm going to do is all I did is I used um, water from a faucet to go ahead and rinse out the carpet before. But what I'm going to do now is put the product in each one. I'm going to agitate each one one at a time and then I'm going to take a truck mount at about 230 degrees and I'm going to take a stair tool and give them a good scrub, each one of them, and then see what it does. Because let's face it, some products work better with heat. Some products actually work uh, not as well with heat because if you exceed a certain temperature with some of them, I appreciate that Joseph, thanks. How you doing Michael? I appreciate you watching. So anyway, um, some products work better with heat and some work better without heat. What do I mean by that? Well some enzymes will actually die after 130, 140 degrees. So if you're operating around 100 and, uh, or 230 degrees, you're killing those enzymes unless they're some type of synthetic or non-live enzymes. We'll go more into that because I'm going to do a complete video and I'm going to put it on Facebook and on YouTube and breaking down all different types of chemistry, the test, pre-sprays and things like that. So just give me a little bit of time to develop it. It's all coming together little by little. All right, so back to this test right here. So you notice I got 66 squares, brand new carpet. There's another piece over there. I don't know how much the delay is on this thing right here. But you notice I've got, I bought two new pieces of polyester carpets. I'm dividing them up in 66 squares. I'm not going to tell you what the fourth test is. It's really a good test and it was brought to my attention by probably one or two top chemists in the whole industry. I'm not going to mention his name, but he brought it to my attention and said, Rob, I'd like to see a fourth test and this is what I'd like you to do. I said, okay, so I'll go ahead and encompass that. Who knows, maybe before I'm done with this, there might even be a fifth test. Hopefully not. All right, so back to the point. I'm going to take each one of these right here and I'm going to use a stair tool. I'm going to go ahead and put it on there and the recommended dwell time on most pre sprays is what? 10, 15 minutes. The only problem you're dealing with when you're dealing with polyester carpets, I like to use a bigger nozzle on my pre spray sprayer, whether I'm using an electric one, whether I'm using my inline sprayer, or whether I'm using my uh, a hand sprayer. You want to use a larger nozzle. Why do I say that? Because on polyester carpets, since it doesn't have any absorbency, uh, whatever you spray down on it has a tendency to go right down to the bottom of the fiber. Okay? Let's suppose this is it right here. It's just going to slide right down to the very bottom of the fiber, and a lot of your dirt and soil I've noticed under the microscope, and your oils is generally on top. So it's going to slide right down to the bottom. So I like to get a little bit of a glistening look from my pre-spray. I'll spray it down, get that glistening look, and then I'm going to agitate it afterwards. And I'm going to, uh, I prefer mechanical agitation, and about 10 minutes to all time. I don't want it to dwell too long because it's going to work its way down too far and I feel like it works against me. At least that's how it's worked in the test, in the first two tests. The third and the fourth test are really going to be the difference maker. So just stay tuned and I'll let you know how that works out. Okay, another thing I wanted to mention why I got you here is House Call Pro and TMF is doing a special together and that is they're going to be giving a year's worth of pre-spray away and no charge for just signing up and doing a demonstration with House Call Pro. Hey, a little bit of shill right there, okay? All right, so you'll be getting the free pre-spray for a whole year and some booster along with it also. So keep that in mind. All you have to do is just sign up and do a demo of House Call Pro. I've loved House Call Pro. It's been great for my company. It, it's really um, put us in the fast track to profits and keeping up with everything too because you want to stay as organized as possible and as structured as possible when it comes to, um, you know, um, getting your business to run and be streamlined. I think that's very important. I can, on the fly, I can go ahead and I can look at the home, I can look at the value of the home, I can look at the jobs, I can set the jobs, I can do the invoicing, I can do the credit cards, I can do everything. So it's just so nice being paperless. All right, enough of that. Just remember, one year's worth of free pre-spray if you sign up for it. What if you're currently on a demo? I'm not sure, Travis, how that works. And you're right, Kyle, it really does rock. I appreciate that. Grand Slam, you do that. Yes, Chris Austin, we're definitely handling that. I know a guy doesn't use any pre-spray, just plain water. Now, Michael, I don't have a problem. This man wants to just use plain water. However, water and oil doesn't mix, so it's not going to really work too well on polyester carpets. Sorry, it might work great on nylons. 
And in the past, all the carpets were nylon. So there's nothing wrong with that. It probably worked great for that. However, now, what do we have? We have a lot of polyesters. As a matter of fact, the last survey, and I'm not going to mention the um, competing magazine. Remember, we own cleanformermagazine.com, but or cleanformer.com, which is cleanformer magazine. Another magazine came up with a survey, and they found out that 90% of the carpets being pumped out by the mills are polyester carpets. So a lot of our past clients might have nylon carpets, and I highly recommend telling your customers when they replace their carpets to go with nylon carpets. I think that's really important. So, okay, so back to the point about using fresh water. Can you use this water? If you're going to use a water softener, if you're going to just use water, or maybe some, you know, deionized water or whatever, there's all for different types of way of getting the water as good as possible. Remember, find the chart of the hardness of the water in your area because every area is different. We have fairly soft water in our area, but other areas have very hard water. So a lot of your pre-spray or a lot of your uh, rinses are going to be used up in trying to soften the water. So kind of keep that in mind. So water is just not going to cut through that. So definitely keep that in mind. Okay, so remember, the first phase of the test was what? Polyester carpet, putting on there for anybody that showed up just a little bit late. I've gathered the top 66 pre-sprays in the industry. And if you listen, if you have any videos, anything you want to do uh, on the weekends, I don't mind you know, spending an afternoon. I really enjoy coming here, cleaning up. It's quiet for the most part. All the girls are up front. They usually stop in and they do it. And they catch up on all the paperwork, billing, invoices, and stuff like that, you know. And then they head out for the day. All right. So in the meantime, I like to stop in and just kind of make sure everything's ran smooth for the week and I'll kind of do some paperwork and I'll do a little bit of testing, maybe a little bit of videos and make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. All right, so let's see what else I'll say about that. So if you want a video on something, if you want a video on wands, all the different types of wands, how about a video on glides? I'd be glad to explain to you how glides work, the differences in glides. Because remember, there's slotted, there's hold, there's hybrid, you know, there's, um, and there's about four different types of glides and there's also lip glides. So which one works best? Which one works best on what wands? What wand works best? Would it be a two inch? Would it be an inch and a half? Would it be an inch and a three quarter? Something with a flare at the end? All that we can discuss, no problem. What are the best uh, cuffs in the industry? We can discuss that. How about different types of vacuums? We can discuss that. I don't mind discussing anything anybody wants to discuss in the future. How about all different types of rotaries? I've got that all different types of rotaries on the market. And one thing I've learned about rotaries is any rotary is better than no rotary. Okay, so keep that in mind because a lot, of, a lot of people argue online saying, well, my rotary is the best or my rotary is the best. Well, they're all great. They all do a great job. So remember that uh, just some of them are more versatile. And some of them might not clean another one just by a small fraction, but it's still 100 times better than a wand on a dirty traffic pattern. Throughout the rest of the house, it's not going to make a whole lot of difference. All different types of heads that come with, um, you know, whether you have a tile head, whether you have a brush head, whether you have a standard head, a head with glides, a head with glides and a brush for your rotary, I can discuss all that and help you with that too. And how about rugs? We can go through rugs, we can go through hot water extraction. Remember I had the CX-15, the Bonzer, the Zipper. I've got it all, you know, basically. I'm trying to gather all different types of unusual equipment because one thing you're going to find out in the industry is a lot of people and a lot of distributors, so to speak, and nothing against distributors. But they're generally, when you walk inside their place, they're going to sell you what they have. They're not always going to sell you what the absolute best type of equipment or what fits you the best. They try to out of the inventory they have. But a lot of times they're biased or their chemistry they're biased because that's what they carry. So the advantage to coming here and asking me is I'm going to show you every different type of wand. I'm going to show you all different types of vacuums, all different types of filters, all different types of rotaries, all different types of CET tools, you know, cordless extraction tools is what I call them when you're talking about a CX-15 or something of that nature. And um, when it comes to rugs, all the different types of rug tools, how about VLM? You know, you have the Cymex, you have the uh, rotaries, you have the oscillating pad machines, you have the CRVs. And I actually just picked up a new machine. So any, anyway, if you guys have anything that's new and unusual, please keep it in mind. I'd really like to pick it up. I'm always keeping my eye open for something that's new and unusual. Of course, we can talk about tile and grout too, you know, the different types of spinners, the edge tools like geckos, the different brushes, and then the different chemistries. And you see we have a ton of different chemistry over there. Okay, so that kind of covers it. Uh, I'll, I'm going to put the link in here for the House Call Pro for the demo. You're welcome to take a look at it anytime you like. And uh, just kind of keep in mind, if you see something or a type of 
product you think I might not have tested, let me know. If it's something that was private labeled, I'm going to go ahead and just lump it right in. I'll let you know that ahead of time because I know what's private labeled by who, okay? I've learned that over the years. By having truck mile forms for over a decade now and being in the industry for 35 years and testing all these products, I basically got my finger on the pulse of the industry. I know what works, what doesn't work, and who makes what, you know. But that's still, that's a matter of confidentiality, and I'm going to keep it that way. So remember, we kind of cover the whole gamut. We're not biased. We'll share anything with you, any type of information, and we really appreciate all the support at Truck Mount Forums. I'm going to put the link in the thread talking about the, uh, the pre-spray for a year, so keep that in mind, okay? And just as a last point, remember, this pre-spray was meant to be uh, a safer alternative product, the Rob Secret Formula, a safer alternative product that you could use that won't be as, um, you know, it's not as hazardous as a lot of other products on the market. So bear that in mind, and that's kind of the reason that I have this product, all right? And it also is meant to be boosted, because I have different types of products to boost with it. However, we do have something coming out, and you're going to see, that's going to be very interesting, but we're kind of keeping it down on the down low, and a couple of people are testing it right now, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Okay, well, I think that kind of covers everything. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.